and he only had one. I don't know where you come with. I don't know where you come with three. I don't know where you come with three, but he only had one. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, young. We looked at the stats. <laughs> he had three on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three on your own. On this tizzit. You ready, son? Son. No, no, you gotta get on him. Son. All right. You know you heard your daddy. Cause breakout. Cause young league don't believe in breakouts. Nah, it do though. Cause, cause um, now nah, listen. I had I had one with um, Kenneth Walker, but I just didn't get it. I'm searching right now, buddy. Yeah, I did. Hey, you got to promise me after this game, you still going to be my dog. What color you got on, bro? Okay. I got all black, bro. Playing your boy Dex. Yeah. Play me young, Lee. You think? You think so? Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Acrisure Stadium on the north shore of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we hit week 10 and we've got a good one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't got my boy Clay Pool. Nah, I'm still hurt. Ah, uh, he poked it out. Come on, bro. Are gonna take over at the yard it's all good. And how about that for some fireworks to start this one? And the fireworks turned out to be for the kicking team, didn't they? Yeah. I mean, go down there, make a play, knock it free, and end up with the. That's crazy. The Almost ran it back too. That's that's why they that's why they did that. That's a pick. Second and ten. Oh. And he 
takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, Burrow. It's a short one here. Complete to oh, the no let him do nothing. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Burrow going for it on fourth. Don't let him get nothing. How he tackle me? He was behind me, bro. Edmonds, baby. Put Edmonds on that nigga. They ain't gonna throw to a 6'8 nigga and, I don't, and don't think I got nobody that can jump. Can he shake off a bad start to this one and start to perform at the level he expects? Uh, let, me, uh, let me go over here real fast. I'll be right back. As we step aside here in this first quarter. Okay, I'm gonna stay over here. I ain't gonna go over there and bother. Wait till the game, oh. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 12 yard line. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he takes this across the 15 to the 17. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Sticking with Walker on second down. Come on, man. Game of ten, good for a Steeler first down. The Steelers hit six and three on the year. Pretty well, six and three in their last nine. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Nigga, not even. Bro, I've been losing to shit like that all since I like got back on Madden, bro. Like niggas have not been tackling me. I just get tackled by shit like that. Pick it to throw on first down. Flushed out right. Come on, with the DN, bro. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one where he right, flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positive. Touchdown! Nah, he just big as hell, bro. He's 6'8, bro. And the Bengals take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Out of the draft. Yeah. See, he, he a tight end. He a tight end, bro. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. Come on, man. That bullshit ass shit I just did. Like, I got cheated off two fucking touchdowns off that play. Like, how am I getting. These niggas are not even tackling me. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Come on, Kenny. Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots. He's the only quarterback we got. Moving. Throwing again on second and ten. Pick it. He'll let it fly for Austin. And that's Calvin Austin, bitch. Calvin is awesome. On first and ten, it's Pickett. Escaping the pressure right. He trying to sit in the cover three. He's scared now. Yeah, he's scared. See, now I got in the cover three. See, he's scared. Niggas go to what they. Niggas go to what they can't stop. Come on, man. Come on, block for well, this defense for the Bengals, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. 
Look at him overthrowing. Oh, this nigga is fucking ass, can he? Oh my god. How do you overthrow like that, bro? And I uh, and I like bulleted the ball. It's alright. This is the first quarter. That's crazy, though. They keep that effort up. You'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. Come on, man. I was fucking right there. And it pushes him out to a 15 nothing lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic go to first do no harm. But right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is just taking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. On second and a couple. Pick it. And here's another interception. See the Bay of Woozy, eh? Cheetah Bay of Woozy, eh? Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part wow. uh, It's going to be one of these type of games, huh? Come on, bro. And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is... Oh, I started with fucking fun down to go. This one could legitimately be over. Like, look at this shit, man. Like, what are you doing in front of me? Like, nobody... Bro, dude didn't even block for me, bro. Like, he just stood there. He ran right past him. Like, he didn't even acknowledge him. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... This offense hasn't been able to generate any I'm just standing in the pocket, bro. Nobody gets in going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession. But then as soon as I draw back too far or move up, I get sacked. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time. A good pick up there, 18 yards. As they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw, Pickett. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw, Pickett. Come on, under pressure, bro. What the fuck is my old line doing? Like, fucking hold somebody, bro. Fucking sign the old lineman in free agency. Thinking that that'll help him. Down, it's Walker. And now they're gonna get him down right there. Really the niggas don't even be really be blitzing like they the blitz is that they people be running, they not even like the major, like niggas just don't be looking like they just stand there. So they don't give a fuck. Right where this set of down started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He completes this to Walker. And to the full. Look at him clicking off, bro. Like, nigga's a fucking so bomb. Well here we 
we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. Being chased out left. Complete to Austin here over the middle. And they'll get this bitch. down to the 42-yard line. Oh, okay, man. That was just a good job there of being mobile and creating something. Being able to extend the play and get people open or buy yourself more time to run with the football has a really nice job there. Pickett's throw here taken in by Ingram. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Come on, like how's he just getting through there? The fuck are you doing over there? It's the fucking right tackle. Throwing middle and it's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Bengals 14. From the gun, it's Walker. And power running here down to the six yard line. All I see a nigga swinging, bro. <laughs> nigga not even trying to tackle me, bro. Good now. Alright, man. No more fumbling the fucking ball, bro. You said what? I don't play the Rams. No, no. I'm playing the Bears. You said who? So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline watch their Oh, the Bills, Jayu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm calling right now. Damn, I should have went in the man, bro. He ain't got a quick down for that shit. Open, I'm playing the Discord League. Oh, oh there's a touchdown. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. Yo. Yo. You at the grip? Oh. Yo. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Flush to his right. Come on, man. I had two people on that nigga. He still, like... But dude just left. Like, he he completely left one nigga and... That's great. Devin Bush, the only one who ran with him, and the safety didn't even run with the nigga. Okay, so they didn't get this one, but I have to ask you. What matchup are they seeing that they feel that confident to go for two so often? Yeah, we talk about this a lot. I think you say you're off and on. You're right that they take it right down Broadway. Still going inside the 30. And they are going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown. Look at that fucking kickoff return, nigga. I told you I got that goddamn stick, nigga. Opposition, but remember when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. 
And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, especially the offensive coordinator, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game. They both were really confident in their game plan. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas in practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. He's got a man. Ah, good tackle, bro. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Ah, that was a good tackle. Great tackle. Now Burrow on first down. Polluting the pressure right. And this ball incomplete. Oh, we're gonna definitely put two niggas on the catchable ball could not hang on. Second down coming up. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Dude. Looking sideline incomplete. Damn it, it must stop them so far. What a dude. The offense was on the I need a, um, uh, I'm missing my last legend on defense. Derrick Henry, come on, I hit running a fucking Whatever. Yeah, tens on ground and bum ass nigga. Derrick Henry out here running fucking routes. Like, come on, bro. Niggas, niggas, not no fucking route runner. You gotta at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. And that is incomplete. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. And it's intercepted at the goal line. I had to pick that, bro. Yeah, I had to, because if I didn't, bro, he was going to try to kick a field goal or something. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Here's Walker to start the drive. Charles, we'll see what they what do. What do we go for? Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice that you've been I'm on, man. Like, I'm breaking off a tackle, but I'm still getting tackled. Like, how does that make sense? Time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that. Get out the way with this hit, bro. Just a little more. From the gun on third down, pick it. Over the middle, it hits Austin. And some room to work. And they'll get this well. Come on, he's just diving, and they just let these niggas touch me, bro. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. The case begins. That nigga snagged that motherfucker. He held that bitch out there so he could see him catch it. Pick it back to throw. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards 
And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the break. Down. So he's been automatic to this point in the season, and he can make some of the game here. The more luxury he is to have the can depend upon Parker because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx Down by two touchdowns. Come on, you guys. Pull it together. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11. 11, 11. Hey, Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That's cool, but that nigga ain't getting no, he ain't getting no, no over the top shit, man. That shit dead. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And he'll be hit as he releases it. That shit dead. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis operating gun set and ready to rock. Come on, y'all. We can come back, man. Let's go. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. Oh, yeah. We're still in this motherfucker. The Bengals drive about to get going as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half. Charles, remember in that first half. Good team out of the guns. We're still in the offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, come on, man. Derek Henry, like, what? Wow, man, like, how is he just... Man, we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key... Bro, the nigga caught... Bro, T. Higgins just called... Wow, bro. All right. They did exactly that. Nigga caught the ball off a fucking bat. Like a... <laughs> off his team and he dropping the pass. He catches it. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. To the air on first down with Pickett. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. From the gun, here's Pickett. He and he lost the football. But it looked like the Steelers were able to recover and they will indeed hold on to the ball. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. First and 10, here's Pickett. He'll let it fly for Austin. And in. Calvin Austin, bitch. Calvin Austin, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers get a bit closer. Let's go. Let's get a fucking stop, man. Stop with the bullshit, man. Just sucking this nigga off, bro. This nigga dick's trash as fuck. This why he this why he be so ready to commit suicide, cause Mad give him so much bullshit. And then when they finally stop letting him have that shit, he be about to kill himself, bro. For real, bro. Shit annoying as fuck. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Complete. It's Henry. You tackle man, all his dumb ass getting over. And that's gonna bring up second down. Now 
That's Burrow. He's going to look downfield for Henry. Give me that shit. This pick six, nigga. That's, that's Chris Wilcox, nigga. Stupid bitch. Down by six. Walk them down, guns. Walk them down. Motherfucking Devin Bush, bitch. Good fucking test him. I use you fucking retard. Retarded ass nigga. Yeah, he don't like that shit. Get your dumb ass out of the chat, bitch. Where'd this go, y'all? Straight ahead, Walker. And he fights forward for a modest two yard gain, second down. <laughs> Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to take it in for a steal touchdown. Walk it in on that bitch ass, can I walk? Dumbass nigga. Man, as soon as I got in the chat, that nigga left out. As soon as I, as soon as I said, nigga, quit testing my use, you dumbass nigga. Devin Bush, nigga. Fucking play on me, bitch. I play that nigga out there, get out this game. Nah, I know, I seen it. Let's go. Walk him down. He probably like this damn is trash. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? 
Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. Oh, my God. He tried to air my ass out. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. A third quarter now, a one-point game as they line up second and ten. I said a new user, man. Here's Burl. And this will be incomplete. Yeah, nigga, we're gonna take Jamar Chase out the game, nigga. We're gonna box his ass up. I think the receivers now when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. How did Derrick Henry just cook him right there? So here's a first and ten at the 38. Burrow looking to pass. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his passes. Ain't no fucking way that play developed, bro. This shit teething for uh, Nitty right now, boy. That momentum shit be so ass. Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. The pick, Minka. That nigga Dix is a Dix is a clusterfuck. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. From the 38, pick it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hey guys. Say it's I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. We're gonna run the same play and we're going up top the pickings. Oh, right, that was Calvin Austin over there. Back to throw, pick it. And his pass is intercepted. Wow, that is Greedy Williams. Wow. This big ass nigga, huh? Why did he throw it like that, though? The Bengals drive about to get going. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. He's going to look deep down the field. Good pick, Evans. We jammed him at the line, let him go. And the Steelers are going to take possession of the football. Running left is Walker. Taken down at the 47-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Hey, we taking that guy out the game, Dick. Second down and eight. Jam his ass at the line. That's how you stop Dick. You jam his ass. Sticking with Walker on but Jammy Jam, like they said on fucking House Party, nigga. You ain't invited to the Jammy Jam Jam, nigga. Calvin Austin, bitch. Fuck Greedy Williams, nigga. There's ass out. Dix is probably talking all that shit when I left the party. He was blowing me out when I ain't had no points. Boswell 
What was he saying, Young? I want to know. And a fair catch signal for and take it successfully. The Bengals drive about to get going. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game. Oh, Dicks. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. There he goes left side. Come on, T. Higgins is there. Who's that? Six. Shit. Have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Let's see, way to get him, TJ. That's going to wind up incomplete. And a failure to come out and tie the game. That pressure should spend the and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Now they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score, but bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. On first and 10, it's Pickett. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Out of the gun, Walker with it. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. On third down, here's Walker. Wow, they let this nigga just shoot the gap like that. Okay, bro. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here we go, it's Pickett on fourth down. Pickens is there on the crossing route. All right, run his ass over. Let's see Pickens. The Steelers first down, and that was something else. A big pickup on fourth Run his ass clean over. Give him a new set of downs. From the midfield stripe, he'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's another dot. Here's ass out. Steelers. Boswell for the extra point. Aaron, your ass out, buddy. And that makes it a nine-point game. Can you can you pick it? Aaron his ass out like laundry, nigga. He come out there in that dumbass defense. I'm gonna keep hitting you with the same beater, bitch. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline. And now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play. Of course, if we try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. To throw once more on second and ten. Oh. A hit as he throws there incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here and just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Third down, Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on the fourth down. No 
reason not to. Down a couple of scores, they have to try to make something good happen. Here we go. This man is trash. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. Throwing again on second down. Pick it. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get down. This field. game is trash, man. I fucking kill Madden and get Zellers. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. What? Man, whatever, bro. This game is trash as hell, bro. Nigga stripped the ball again, bro. Everybody else can strip the ball, but I can never get a guy down strip. Oh, we're off in a press the fuck out of his ass, and he ain't getting up on it. one across the 30-yard line. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Now Burrow. That's going to be brought in by Higgins. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Sack his bitch ass. Pussy. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Nigga, all the time about Zach comes. Zach comes to Zach comes to Zach comes. Been quiet, nigga. T. Higgins. How about the fuck out of the Oh my god, of course y'all let him do that shit. I just literally man the nigga up. Do this nigga dicks. 
this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Pickett to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Austin. Finding space at the 40. Now he's loose again. Inside the 20. Alvin Austin. Try to take it to the house, nigga. Get off my fucking field, bitch. I told you, I told you that, man. Mm, Who put my trade on, my guy? Fifty nine to fifty one. Oh, I came all the way back on twenty four zero. Score fifty nine unanswered points. <laughs> Ain't no fun when the rapper got the gun. Nigga talking shit, cut out the tongue. Too much cookie, got bad lungs. That's where my nigga hood works. A final shot now for Burrow. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. I went platinum with the goat. Bum ass nigga. Drop my feet. Mike Wallace, you got you a trade, buddy. That nigga ran a kickoff return, but this shit was nasty. They're gonna cherish. 
So for Pittsburgh, they keep pace for a playoff spot as they move to seven and three. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to four and six. And they'll look to get back on track next week 